The first step of making a three-dimensional model in 123D Catch is to take many photos of your object. Today our object will be this Buddha model. It's a good example for this project because it's not transparent. It's not too glossy and it's really not that complicated. And by complicated I mean it doesn't have any gaps um, or holes that go all the way through the item. And that can be really, really difficult to take pictures of and get it to work. Now, before we start taking photos of our artifact, we need to set up our arena. There are many ways to do this as long as your artifact stays perfectly still. The common denominator is that there need to be reference points. The how-to guide for 123D Catch recommends setting your item down on newspaper, essentially something that isn't the same pattern all the way through. I'm simplifying that by using post-it notes, putting them at every corner, and writing a number on them. Time for photos! My recommendation from experience is to start taking photos from the back, or the least complicated part of your item. You will need to take photos from two angles. First loop perpendicular to your item, around, and making sure you have overlapping detail, and then another loop coming from above. Take photos in a circle. Each loop will take about 20 photos. Less will mean that you don't capture enough detail, and more will just take longer to load when you put it into the 123D Catch program. In general, I end up taking about 25 photos. Once I'm done taking photos, I'm going to upload them to my computer and delete all the blurry photos and color balance or change them so that there's a consistent look with all my photos both from the top loop and from the perpendicular loop. I usually do that with Photoshop and an action set that I create so I can do a lot of photos very quickly but you can use other software. Now that we're done taking our photos let's take a look at how we use the 123D Catch software. Today we are going to be working with Autodesk 123D Catch. You can find it at this URL, 123dapp.com slash catch. And if you go on this page, you'll see multiple ways to use this application. You can use the internet application, or you can download a version for PC. There's another version for iPhone and iPad to help you capture your photos. But the web app works on both sides, and I'm currently on a Mac, so let's work with that. So I'm going to launch the application. Okay, I actually have it open already. Um, so I'm going to start a new project with our Buddha photos that we took earlier. So I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to open up all my files. So I have the ones from the side, and then I have one from the top that I've color-coded. So I'm selecting all of them, and now I'm going to drop them all in and it's going to generate thumbnails and it's going to process the images. Alright, I'm going to do a capture resolution of high. Let's see what we can do. This will be fine on most computers. And uh, no process. This will probably take a while. Let's see it processing right here. So now our file has finished converting, and we're going to click on our capture, and we're going to open our selected project and see how the 3D model looks. On the sidebar you'll notice a cube, you can click on the, each of the sides to help immediately orient it. We have our twist, our hand, um, this tool you can use by clicking the spacebar and just dragging with your mouse. This you can hold down the scroll wheel. And this you can just use your scroll wheel to move in and out, or you can click on this tool. This right here is our select tool. 
this you can delete. All right, let's take a look at our model. So it looks good. Let's take a zoom in. All right, that looks like a good amount of detail. So we can always edit this a little bit. All right. So the detail on this looks good. See the back. The only thing that looks like it needs work are the hands. And you can fix that later by adding extra photos. More top-down photos, you have to not forget to take those. All right, so you'll see that our model is on the background of a tabletop. Now we want to get rid of the tabletop. We want to have just our model. We have several tools that are available. First, let's keep our catch. Save it. And let's fill in all this information because it doesn't let you save it unless you do. characters. Let's keep it private for now. All right. Now we can edit our model. This is our select tool. You'll notice this circle. You can change its size right here. But there are also other tools like plain cut, which you can use to just cut alongside a plane. So let's try and do that because that'll be a little bit easier. So let's Squoosh down, and it's okay if we take out, take out like a little bit of the actual statue. It's not that big a deal. If you are more finicky, you can use the select tool and go right along the bottom. Let's do this. All right, let's see what we got. It looks good. Now I just have to clean up stuff. Let's do that. This is the cleanup tool. So now we're just left with these pieces and I can just use my select tool. And color over them. Careful not to select your statue by accident because it's a pain to Go back and undo your mistakes. Let's delete that. You can also just click your delete button. All right, don't worry about that. That's sometimes pieces don't fully delete little guy. Come here, little guy. All right. One last piece. Let's take a look. The underside of this is actually empty. It just kind of looks black. You can build up the mesh in other ways. So it can take a little bit of practice. Keep aware of what surfaces you're selecting and you'll be good. I want to make you aware of this how-to page on 123D Catch. You can find it at 123dapp.com slash how-to slash catch and you'll see lovely GIFs on how to do every step of this process and then video tutorials that go more in depth. These video tutorials are actually showing you the full PC application. But a lot of the services are also in the web app. So take a look at that. Visit the support forum if you need any help and look at other people's models. It's a great way to learn and it really just takes practice.